Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Chris, also known as Wonderbro. I am a mental health YouTuber who used to suffer tremendously with anxiety and depression, but I have recovered, so this channel is set up now to provide you guys with free, simple, easy to use advice so that if you're suffering, you can recover too. Alright you guys, I'm just me. I'm as real as it gets. I do a little bit of everything, not just mental health videos, gaming, vlogging, all that good stuff. So. I hope you like it here, I hope you enjoy the channel, the video you're about to see will give you a little taste of what to expect, but uh, anyway, that's it, enjoy the video, welcome to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe, I love you, and stay awesome. What is going on you guys, Wonderbro here, and today we're going to be talking about how to properly use acceptance. Um, you know, I decided to do this video that you're watching now because on my groups on Facebook, you know, my social media, I have a lot of people thinking that they have to be absolutely 110% perfect at our two main keys, which is accepting your feelings, behaving, you know, without fear, and not following your thoughts. A lot of people think they have to be perfect at that. A lot of people think that um, there's going to be instant results. A lot of people think that those thoughts, you know, if they don't follow them, they're, they're suddenly just going to disappear. Uh, so we're going to clear some things up today. How to properly use acceptance. Now, the brain learns in one way, and that's watching your behaviors. That's how it determines what to set your anxiety levels at. So as long as you're behaving without fear in the face of fear, smiling, dancing, singing, just going on about your life as if there's no tiger in the room with you because there's not, the brain is learning, regardless. But our second main key of not following your thoughts, why is that important? And, you know, do you really need it? If the brain only learns by watching your behaviors, do you need that key? What's up with that? Well, I have that key in place because the more obsession you do, the more feelings you're going to get in the body because tired nerves are so willing and ready to pop off, you know, anxiety over everything, including your thoughts. So that's why I have that key in place. Now, you could be manifesting a million stressful, anxious, negative thoughts a day, but as long as you're using accepting behaviors, yeah, you're going to make some headway. You know, you're going to make some progress and you're going to heal your nerves. But it really is important to do your best, not to be perfect, to notice when thoughts come in and, you know, there it is. I, I'm not going to add to the story. I'm going to use accepting behaviors, and I'm just going to let it float around if it will, but no thanks to getting involved. It can be there, but I'm not going to add to the story. I'm not really going to get in there and fight with it and wrestle with it. I know so, a lot of you make fun of how I say wrestle. I say wrestle. I'm from the country. <laughs> yeah, so as long as you're not adding to that story, that helps, and that's why I have that key in place, because it makes it easier to use your accepting behaviors when you're not following so many thoughts because the more you follow thoughts the more feelings you're going to get in the body so it does make it a lot easier to use accepting behaviors if you use that main key of not following your thoughts and that's why that's in place so I'm going to give you just an example how to properly use acceptance I'm just going to give you an example let's say you wake up in the morning and you've got these anxious feelings from being sensitized thoughts are coming well if you want to use acceptance you would get up you would put a smile on, you'd carry on about your day, you would do these things calmly, even though you're probably wanting to rush because of the feelings. You would do them calmly as if there was no anxiety there. You would make yourself smile, maybe dance a little, smile a bit, uh, you know, sing a bit. Um, and you would go about your day and you would do these things, take a shower, maybe calmly clean. Uh, you know, you would act as if there is no danger because you know there's not. The brain doesn't, but you know there's not. So we have to show the brain now. So we just carry on as if everything's fine, as if you feel like a million bucks because the brain is watching your behaviors. That's all it has to go off on. So let's say you're doing this and thoughts come and thoughts come. Well, you can let them be there. You can let them be there. We can't force them away. We can let them be there. Hey, I, I noticed these thoughts coming in. I accept them, but I'm not going to add to the story. There you are again. That's okay. I'm just going to come back to my accepting behaviors. Let it be there for as long as it will. Let it cause whatever anxiety it will. Accept that anxiety and move with it. Eventually, the thought will pass. As long as you're not up there adding to the story, just notice the thought. And if it brings anxiety, which it probably will due to your sensitized nerves, that's fine. Just even more chances to retrain the brain because it's watching your behaviors. So while this thought is up there causing these anxious feelings, smile and carry on with your day calmly. 
this will work. It'll heal your nerves. You know, we're not entertaining the thought. We're letting it be there. We're letting it create whatever feelings it wants while we just accept and move on. And slowly the brain starts to learn by watching us, by watching our new accepting behaviors, that there is no real danger. All right. And over time, the nerves heal. And then if those thoughts are still there, they become laughable because the nerves are healed and they're no longer reacting to the thoughts because you used accepting positive behaviors to show the brain you don't need protected. So your nerves healed. All right, you guys, that is how you properly use acceptance. Um, you know, I know we talk a, a lot about acceptance here on the channel, but I feel like every now and then it's important to sit you down and say, hey, this is this is the deal. This is how simple it really is. Let me rope you back in, you know. So I feel like that's important. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I love you. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome to our family. Hit like if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, under Wonder Bro Yo. If you would like to make a donation, you can do so through PayPal, shorter1993 at live.com. I would be very, very grateful. And until next time, you guys, I think that's it. As always. Oh, gotta get a good one. Stay awesome.